This is Penthrox, a lightweight and portable device for patient-controlled analgesia in any pre-hospital care or wilderness setting for the management of acute pain, including trauma. And I'm gonna show you quickly how this works. It comes in a box like this, and the device itself is composed of three parts. First, you've got this plastic tube, the main plastic cylinder here, which is hollow and contains a wick that absorbs a volatile anesthetic. And the business end is this whistle bit here and the patient sucks on there like this. Uh, the anesthetic itself is called methoxyfluorin. There's a three mil cylinder that's boxed with each device. And I've just taped that on here for ease of use. And this final part here is called your charcoal filter. Uh, and that deals with any off gassing. Now I'll set this up, make it live so you can see how it works. So I remove the, the methoxyfluorine and open it like this. Okay, I open the little cap like so. I'm gonna take my filter off, hold the device at 45 degree angle like this, and then I just pour in the methoxyfluorine while at the same time rotating the body like that. And that's all gone in there nicely. Okay. You can cunningly use the base of the device to even open the uh, cap if it gets a bit stuck. Now I'm going to, that's all gone in there. The, the wick has absorbed the drug and I'm now going to place the carbon filter on there. This device is now live. I'm not going to suck on it because it prob it's, it'll probably knock my socks off but ideally the, the patient forms a good seal around the mouthpiece there and also breathes out through the mouthpiece. That makes sure that any off-gassing is captured by this carbon filter and doesn't uh, knock the rescuer out. Um, there's also a handy little diluter hole here, like a recorder, and if the patient presses their finger on there, it means that more uh, air is, is, is entrained through the, the wick, so you get a beefier dose Nice little feature that. But you can see how quick and easy that is to set up. In an emergency, in a trauma, you could have that stashed in the outside of your response bag. You could have it on your belt, in your pocket, ready to go within seconds. Definitely earned its place in my wilderness medical kit.